So what do you actually do with the clips that you shoot on your Hero 7? You edit them together into a fun to watch video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that with the different video editing software options that are available. If you are a total GoPro newbie and you're new to creating and editing videos in general, then this video is gonna be for you. So let me start off by saying that the video editing functions are practically identical no matter what software or apps you are using. Where it gets confusing and overwhelming is when you start thinking about special effects and background music, but as a beginner, you don't need to worry about that stuff. Typically, the best way to do this is to take your memory card out of your GoPro and use an adapter to plug it into your computer. You pull those MP4 files off of your card and onto your hard drive to do your editing. And then you import those files into your video editing software. So you bring your media in and you can drag each clip down to the timeline as I'm showing in my demo here. And that's where you can preview the clip. You could make some edits here, like trimming the beginning or the end off of the clip or splitting the clip in half or in multiple pieces. You can rearrange these clips and add more to the timeline and do the same exact thing. And you keep going until the end result you're left with is just the pieces and parts of your GoPro footage that you want in your final video. If you're happy with that, you then export your project as one video file that you can share to social media, publish it on Facebook or YouTube, or just save it for yourself for later. There are loads of different software options to accomplish this. They all look a little bit different, they act a little bit different, but for the most part, their functions are identical to the process I just showed you. GoPro has their own quick software for Mac, Windows, and mobile devices. The desktop software works a little bit differently than the app and has some limitations as far as editing is concerned, specifically because the maximum length video that you can create in the Quick for Desktop app is 60 seconds. But it's easy to use and it does its own sort of automatic video editing where it syncs your clips to the beat of the music you select. Some people like this and other people like myself would rather just manually have all the control over those clips. Now the GoPro app has something they call Quick Stories and Quick Stories essentially auto creates a video based on your latest footage in a similar fashion to how the Quick app works. Um, it has music, it syncs to the music. You can also use the GoPro app to control your GoPro and change the settings remotely and things like that. The GoPro app, the Quick app, and the Quick app for desktop are all free, but those aren't the only options out there for editing your GoPro videos. In fact, I've been running a poll over in the GoPro Enthusiast Facebook group over the past year where I've been tracking tracking what everyone's using for video editing. And the results at the moment are Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I use most often, Adobe Premiere Elements and Filmora, which are available for Mac and Windows, iMovie and Final Cut Pro, which are available for Mac only, PowerDirector, Sony Vegas, and Magix, which are Windows only programs. And for folks looking for free software, some of your options are DaVinci Resolve, HitFilm Express, and VSDC. VSDC is Windows only. All of these video editing software options tend to lead to confusion. There really isn't a best video software out there. The best video editing software is going to be the one that you enjoy using, it works for you, and you're actually using it to create fun to watch videos from your GoPro footage. There are lots of tutorials for all the different software options here on YouTube. I even have a bunch on the VidProMom channel. I'll link to them below. I think I've covered iMovie, Premiere Elements, Premiere Pro, Filmora, there's probably more. I'll just link to them below. Now I wanna mention GoPro Studio because that comes up a lot. GoPro Studio was great for beginners, it was a little bit buggy, but GoPro discontinued it like several years ago now. And so because GoPro is not recommending people use it, they're not making it available to people, then I don't recommend using it either. Like I said, it was a little bit buggy. So there are plenty of other software options out there that I just listed for you. Um, so go ahead and try something else if you're just getting started with your GoPro editing. Now, in addition to the desktop editing software options, there are lots of iPhone and iPad editing options as well. Um, there's some for Android too, but 
I'm an Apple girl. And I will say that I previously had resisted editing videos on my phone or my iPad pretty heavily, but um, the apps that are out there these days have really come a long way. There are some really great options out there, which I cover in my next video, where I show you step-by-step -step how to edit your GoPro videos on an iPhone. So be sure to subscribe before you head over there and let me know in the comments if you already have a favorite video editing software. Let me know what it is and what you love about it. <laughs>